Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a graph of a function f. This is the function f of x. And we are asked several questions. The first question is find the intervals on which f of x is increasing. First of all, let's, let's, let's discuss about what we see in this picture. We see a function that comes from the left side from here and goes here on the right side. However, since I'm not so sure what's happened on the left side and on the right side, it looks like it goes up on the right side and goes up on the left side. I'm going to look only the, on this interval from negative 10 to 5. So this is the interval I'm going to look at for the question that we have here. The first question, as I said, says find the interval on which f of s is increasing in this interval negative 10 and 5. A function is increasing when it goes up from left to right, something like this. This is an increasing function. They go up. So if we look in here, we have this moment. Well, okay, when the function goes up, and you notice that also in the y value. The y value here was negative 4, and then here it's 6. See? So yeah, the y value goes up. So the interval will be negative 8, negative 8, right, from here to negative 2. This is the interval where the function is increasing. But if you keep looking, you notice we have one more interval, which is right here, which the function is increasing from 0 to 10. We can see that those two values. And that happens between 0 and 2. So the intervals on which f of x is increasing are these two intervals. You may need also to use this sign, which means union on both intervals this function is increasing. Part B, the same story, the only difference, we are asked when the function is decreasing. A function is decreasing when it goes down, when it go, goes down from left to right. So uh, one time we can see that here, from this point to this point, right, again the interval we're looking at is negative 10, 5. And uh, that interval starts at negative 10 and end up at negative 8, right? And we see the initial value of 0 and decrease until it gets to negative 4. But then we have one more interval right here, which uh, starts at negative uh, 2 and end up at 0. Right, you start at negative 2, end up at 0, and it goes down from 6 to 0. And we have one more, which is right here, from uh, positive 2 to positive 5, right? From positive 2 to positive 5, the function is decreasing from 10 to 0. And also, we can use this union sign to show all these intervals together. Let's go to part C. Part C says list the number at which f of x has a local maximum. So let's start with this part. So a local maximum is when the function goes from increasing to decreasing, like this one. See, the function is increasing here and then is decreasing. So one value, one local maximum is negative 2. And then if we look, we have one more here because the function is increasing here and then is decreasing at 2. And that's it. Those are the two local maximum. What are the local maximum value? For x equals negative 2, the maximum is 6. For x equals 2, the local maximum is y equals 10. Let's move to next question, which is the last question. They ask us, list the number at which f of x has a local minimum. A local minimum happens when the 
graph change from decreasing to increasing. So we can see one time it's right here, right? Decreasing, increasing. So at x equals negative 8. And one time it's here, again, decreasing, increasing, 0. And also we can see it here at 5. And the local minimum r for x equals negative 8, we have y equals negative 4, the minimum. For x equals 0, the minimum is y equals 0. And for x equals 5, we have the same minimum of 0. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.